Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 4th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. There's the state of California. You can see our storm system now pushing off to the north and east. We're going to get a little bit of a break here for a couple of days, but we'll take a look at when the next system is supposed to arrive towards the state of California. Also got some gusty offshore winds coming, so we'll dive into all those details as we go through the video this morning. Uh, you can see we've got some nice sunshine for Southern California all the way up to the coastal areas. There is some low cloud across some of the coastal range up towards Monterey Bay. But overall, generally speaking, the coastal areas are dealing with some decent sunshine this morning, as you can see on the GOES-18 satellite imagery. Now, I'm going to scroll through this pretty quick because as you can see, over the next 48 hours, we're not dealing with much. A little bit of a blurb of a shower shows up there south of Lake Tahoe on Sunday afternoon. Not going to amount to much as we turn things offshore. And if we take a look at those winds, let's scroll through here and you can kind of see how they're coming out of the north and east, right there. Here we go. As we go through tonight and through Sunday morning, they're out of the northeast, some gusty northerly winds. It's nothing too crazy, but you'll kind of notice the offshore component most likely. Some of the foothill areas could get a bit breezy there. And it starts to bring some of these stronger northerlies all the way down through the Sacramento Valley into the San Joaquin Valley as we go through tomorrow evening and night. And then we kind of keep that offshore all the way on in through the day Monday as well. So why is that occurring? Well, we've got some high pressure coming down across the Great Basin there, and you can see higher pressure that wants to flow out towards the lower pressure, this thermally induced trough up the coastline. It's going to warm us up a little bit here as well as we go through the next couple of days before the next system will try to arrive. More on that here starting right now. There's the European model. This is the system we've been dealing with. That is pushing off. This upper level low is not going to bring much precipitation with it, but this one that drops down as we go on in towards what is that Wednesday night, very early Thursday morning, we might start to get some action from this one here, depending on just where this trough sets up. The models have kind of been waffling back and forth on if this is going to be a bit further west versus east. And the position of this low is going to mean a lot on what we can expect here for the state of California. So we'll be watching that closely over the next couple of days. And if I scroll through here on and towards that time period, you can kind of see that upper level low. There it goes. Starts generating precipitation perhaps as early as on the day Thursday, it looks like. And then who knows what's going to happen after that. We will we, we'll be watching that closely here over the next few days. Uh, fires, we're not really too concerned about much going on right now. And if I scroll through the 48 hours here, you can see we're not dealing with much in the way of smoke. So definitely give thanks for that. That is a glorious thing to see. Uh, we've got Octave out there, Tropical Storm, and we have additional uh, disturbance development, uh, Tropical Cyclone development here over the next seven days. And some of that action may, may eventually start to make its way towards the southwest. It could clip portions of California, and the long-range models kind of continue to hint that. And I'll show you on the artificial intelligence here, so let's see what it shows. There's that upper-level low that comes down as we go through next week. It does bring some precipitation, but you can see it wants to carve it out a bit further west. And then what does that do? do it brings some towards california but it doesn't get as far as the bay area then you'll also notice the tropical system activity here this is still a few days away but as we go on in through the following weekend some of that try actually that's about Saturday. It does pop off some showers across the transverse range, Peninsular range up towards the Sierra Nevada. And then we get this tropical moisture trying to move out across Gulf of California back into the Southwest USA, maybe clipping portions of California at times. We have a lot of time to watch that. I don't want to get caught up in that just too much yet, but it continues to show some of that moisture streaming back northward from some of those tropical systems. Now, daily two meter maximum temperature. This is for today, Saturday, October 4th. There we go, Sunday, a little bit of a warm up. Monday yet again, Tuesday yet again. So we do warm up with some of that offshore flow, but then that upper level low is gonna arrive and it will suppress the temperatures a little bit here across some of the Sacramento Valley. <clears throat> And we'll, we'll see what it is to bring, but you can see probably somewhat of a cool down coming after that. Man, some nice, comfortable temperatures out there to be had for this time of year. Very nice, especially with no smoke in the air. Glorious. Now, looking at risk of heavy precipitation, again, you can kind of see the Experimental Product Climate Prediction Center showing that potential. Could be clipping portions of California. Plenty of time to worry about that. Check out the Patreon page. Hope you guys are having a good day. We'll do this all again tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys then.